The country could have been treated to a rather comical section when the National Assembly's Public Accounts Committee commenced probe on the 791 million shillings NYS scandal. But what will happen when Parliament makes its report? It now emerged that the National Assembly could be time barred as EACC has already concluded its investigation into the matter and has lined up over 30 individuals to be arraigned in court. For NYS, and they involve for quite a big team, they're going to charge almost 30 people. The court has said, don't wait. The court has given orders, don't charge. That process, we have to deal with it through the court process. After that, they will take plea. According to the ESCC Deputy Chief Executive Officer Michael Mubea, over 500 million shillings in the looted money and acquired property have been identified and frozen as investigation near conclusion. Mubea said his commission had, however, a hard time trying to trail the movements of the funds given the huge withdrawals that were made over the counter. Speaking at a workshop for Kenya Broadcasting Corporation staff on public participation in security, sponsored by the Ministry of Interior, Mubea said Kenya has made tremendous strides in fighting corruption, calling on the public to play their rightful role by joining the war on graft. When we arrest a police officer, we know what we are doing. It's not that we are going for the small fish. Today, if we can be able to manage corruption in the police, Kenyans will say corruption is coming down. True or not true? Therefore, supporters, when, we see, uh, when you see us arresting them, it is because we know what is going on.